Hey ladies and gents, and welcome back to another video. You asked, so you shall receive. We posted a poll on our YouTube community tab as to what you'd like to see next, and overwhelmingly, we got the MX-5. And look, we've got a new little mascot here as well, good old Boba Fett. We're starting to actually put the bits and pieces that I actually want in this room here, and this wall is going to evolve. Uh, we'll do a setup tour at some point and show you absolutely everything that's here. Um, I look forward to that, to be fair. But we're in for a treat today with this MX-5 racing. There's some uh, absolute mayhem. There's some nice, close, uh, fun racing as well. As you can see here, I've put my round wheel on to make it a little bit more realistic. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump in and enjoy the race. Don't forget as well, uh, if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified and follow along with this sim racing journey that I'm on, Make sure you ring that bell to be notified when things go live. Uh, and if you do like the video, please drop a thumbs up on it. And as always, comments down below, anything obvious that you think I can improve on within my racing and your opinions on certain things that happen within this race. Uh, but yeah, enjoy, ladies and gents. Oh, so here we go. Having to learn to drive the Mazda again. Oof, this is going to be tough. This thing is a different beast to the faster cars, but... Hopefully we'll be able to get some something done here. We've qualified fifth. Road America again. Yeah, I know. It is a good track, though. Good luck, everybody. Let's hope we can get a decent result here. Our door number's 14. But I imagine my safety rating is going to take a bit of a hit here because people drive these things like bumper cars. I need to get a good start as well. Come on, why is it not starting yet? Here we go. Tempus, 29. The air is 28 Celsius. 35 minutes. Okay, get ready. Go, go, go. That was a really bad start. A really bad start. Left side. Just clear left. Left side. Clear left. Car left. Still there. See if I can get through without contact. Yes, I can. Still there. Good. Left. They're all about momentum, these things. So, what's this guy doing breaking so early? At least we didn't hit him, though. Okay, David. Decent start. We can build something from here. Right side. He's still there. Clear right. Car right. He got a better exit than Hold me. Your line. Clear right. On your right. Yep, Car I had to go right. far too low there. On your right. Right. Ooh, that was an eager dive by that guy. On your left. Hold your line. I'll let him pass Clear for left. now. Because I'll probably take him back at some point. He's a very aggressive driver and I don't want to be dealing with the, uh, the X's. I've got myself an off track already. Looks like P4 has Oof. gone off in. Carousel. He nearly took me with him as well. Probably did take the guy behind me. Yep, there they are on the radio. I 
I didn't get a good enough run to be able to take him, so I'm going to have to sit behind him for a moment. I was hoping to get a better run out of there, but I still really struggle with that last corner, even more so in this Mazda. Like, it is an absolutely different beast to the GT4s. But those guys fighting in front, they should lose time between each other. Okay, David, relax, focus, keep it smooth. Sixth place. We've lost one position. And we'll almost certainly get it back. It's looking like with this fight in front of us happening. Yeah, I've got a better run than this guy out of this corner, so I'm going to try and take him. Car Easy. Right. Still there. Hold your line. He's still there. Still there. Right side's clear. Good pass. There we go. There's the overtake done. Right, on your right. Still there. Still there. Right side's clear. He got me back there, though, because this black car in front slowed me up by going off the track. But we'll get him again. This is going to be a good battle. I can feel it. Too slow in there, mate. You can be much faster there. Oh, I don't want to go side by side with him in the kink. That'd be daft, right? Got to be smart about when I choose to go for my overtake. Like maybe here. On your right. Still there. He's still there. Oh, side by side racing there, and it right. was clean as well. Oh, the Mazdas are so fun. I actually think they're harder to drive than the GT3s. The leader's just done a 237.48. We will take him again, I'm sure of it. I feel faster than him. I just got slowed up by the black car in front after uh, after passing him last time. Here's the most likely place. He, he doesn't seem very good at that corner. And I mean, I'm not very good at it either. But... Still there. He's still there. Clear right. Well done, David. Nice move, mate. Got him. There we go. Let's see if we can make this one stick. Yeah, I think we've got it, got it this time. He's only half a second behind, but I do feel like I'm faster than him in the second half of the track as well. There's an incident in the carousel. It looks like Harvey, yellow flag, caution. On the racing line, mate. Well done. Right side, clear right.
See if we can extend that gap there, because we're currently in fourth, I believe. We're not quite fighting for a podium yet, but we're not too far off. Come on, don't make it easy for him. Make him go the long way around. He's got the run on me here. I think he's going to take this place back. Come yeah, on. he's got me here. Hold your line. Still Can't there. even go defensive against him because he's got that much of a run Hold on me. Line. Still there. Still there. He's still there. Had to let him right. go there. Oof. racing again Clear but he left. got the better exit because he had the outside well done mate i love racing the mx5s Got him back again Car though. Left. Good. Oh, he's coming for me though. Clear left. Oh, we got a contact. He's gonna take me here though. All right. Still there. Hold your line. Looks like P3's gone off in turn eight. Right side's clear. Car left. He's still there. Clear left. Thank you for giving me a little bit of room there, mate. That was nearly squeaky bum. I nearly hit the grass. He's going to come and take me on the outside now. On your left. He's still there. Clear left. I'll take that back straight away, though. I have to concentrate a lot here. I'm sorry, guys. This is quite hard for me. New fastest lap for Johnston, 237.22. That's the guy behind us got a run. He's definitely in my draft, but I'm not sure how strong the draft of these things are. It looks like we're maintaining our gap at least so far. Okay, David, just keep hitting your marks. This is looking good. P4. As if he's going to try and dive. Close the door on him. Oh, little lock up there. That was inconvenient. That's the worst corner for it to happen on for me, either that or the final corner. If you remember from my GT3 uh, video, the last video on this channel, which was the GT3s around uh, Road America, I explained which corners I have a bit of a hard time with. Oh, he is going to go for the dive here. Hold your nerve. Make them do the work. Car left. Clear I didn't break hard left enough there. Side. Oh, my word. Clear left. Nah, bad luck, mate. What an idiot. Sorry, mate. The guy in front is Porter. I mean, you can at least pull off the track. Oh, my word, people are too close. There's an incident in. There we six. go. Now I'm on my way again. 
That guy. I was deep in the corner then as well. Like, I was really deep in the corner. How did he even go into the back of me? You see what I mean? Like, people using the MX-5s is like bumper cars. I hope he ruined his car. My car actually seems okay. So we might be able to recover some of this. But we have flown down the pecking order here. We're going to have to really try and get some positions back here. There's one. Come on, David. Nicely done. We're going to have to figure out whether or not that's worth a protest or not after the race, but I doubt it will be. But yeah, the car feels fine. I'm not going to need to pit. I'm currently in 13th. 13th place. Still above my door number. But probably still an I-rating loss. I'm too slow around there at the moment. The gap to water behind is increasing. It's now 2.2. .2. So 2.8 in front. That's probably going to increase down here because he's going to be carrying this speed down the straight. Yep, 2.9. He's about three seconds ahead of me now, but we will close that down in the second half of the track, I'm confident. That's 20 minutes to go. 20 minutes. I mean, hell, we already have 20 minutes left to make a difference. Come on. We can get him. He's back to 2.7 again. The gap in front is now 2.6. So it is 2.6. Oh, that one felt a bit squeaky bum. I don't know if my wheel clipped uh, the grass or something. Please tell me I got a better run out of there than him. It doesn't look like it. It looks like we got about the same exit. He does seem to break early for turn one, though. Running in P4 and that idiot comes and rams me in the backside. That's a painful one, that. I should have shifted up there. I don't know why I didn't. I've lost too much time doing that. That was stupid of me.
That's an absolute killer, that, isn't it? All right, David, that's half distance. You're looking good for fuel. Such a race ruiner of an incident. I mean, I know I was slow on rejoining, but... Johnston is leading the race. Like, I was really slow on rejoining. But... Guys, three seconds ahead now. Wrong place to have a lockup, but it worked for us because he must have had it too. Only 1.9 seconds now. Oh, he's got, maybe got a bit of a better run through there than I did. But hopefully I'll get this Canada corner better than he will. Oh, nope, I went deep in there. Focus on my race and stop focusing on him. I'm far too slow through there, but I'm gaining on him here, even if only a little bit. The gap in front has increased. It's now about 2.3. E12. Yeah, I'm definitely faster through turn one. I can carry more speed through there. Okay, David. 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. Goal now is top 10. My goal before was a podium. But that incident has royally screwed me over. That's slow too much there. I didn't brake hard enough initially. Why did I go so deep there? Idiot. That's going to have lost me so much time. It actually hasn't lost me that much at all. Depends how the kink goes, though, I guess. It's gone badly. Oh, just about caught it. I've got all flustered after the incident and haven't been lapping anywhere near as consistently or well as I previously was. I don't know what that guy's okay, shouting. David, you've used half your fuel. But yeah, it's, it's looking like it's going to be a hard work for us to catch P11 here. Increasing. It's now 3.4. And maybe we do have damage that's affecting our top speed because it's we're getting to fifth very late on that straight. You're lucky I'm in R for race, or I would have shot you. 
Took quite a bit of speed through there. That was all right. That was pretty good too. We are eating away at the... Oh, no. He got a better exit out of there than we did, apparently. I'm not going to pit for whatever damage I got from him, but... Oh, I don't know what's why I'm not stopping anywhere near as fast as I used to there. The, da the damage must be affecting something around there. The gap to Porter behind is now 3.6 seconds. So disappointed. I don't know why I didn't expect more, though. I mean... It is like bumper cars when you're in the MX-5s, to some people. I'm losing ground to the guys in front now. That was a sentence in a wonderful accent, too. I don't know why I'm lifting there. I don't need to be. And I also didn't just turn my wipers on, so I don't know why they came on. I don't know why I went down to first either. I completely screwed up there. Why did my wipers come on? I'm starting to get a feel for the car now, even though I'm lapping badly now. Okay, David. Ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes left. My mind's just not in it since the incident. Focus. Poor turn one. My safety rating might actually be okay after this. It might actually go up. I'm tempting fate there now, though. I'm not sure which one's her, mate. Oh, it's this one. We've got someone who's potentially damaged now just in front of us somewhere. I think that was probably the best carousel I've done so far today. behind is now 3.6 seconds I'm breaking well too early for that corner. I can break much later. I can probably take it in third as well rather than second, so... 
But I don't need to be changing the way I drive. I'm still using the gearing from the uh, the GT3s. So, uh, for most of the corners at least, anyway. So I just need to get that out of my head. But, I mean, you guys asked, so I decided to answer with an MX-5 race. Oh, that was almost a nightmare. Ooh, you lucky there, boy. Again, losing time to the guys in front. They're in quite a close train there, so they are benefiting from draft. I'm hoping that that lockup messed them up a little bit, though. Yeah, that, something's wrong with the car there. It's not doing anything like it was earlier. Don't spin. Oh, my word. Of course, I just destroy it there, don't I? Oh, okay. Ruined, actually made my race worse there for myself. Hopefully we can catch this guy that we've just that's just passed us. Hopefully I haven't given him too much of a lead. 13 seconds, not a chance. Unless he has an incident himself. I can't believe it. What a waste of a race, eh, ladies and gents? After such a good start, we have one incident, and it just ruins the race. I mean, you might be saying excuses, but yeah. I think it's a valid excuse. I mean, we are catching the guy in front, but I don't think we've got time to actually catch him. B13, qualifying pace now. Come on, you can salvage something here. Crash? No, nope. I thought there was going to be a crash. Get the extra traction from third gear for the way out of that corner. But that loses me some acceleration, which is kind of a negative here. Come on, David. Push, push, push. We can get this guy. Can we, though? Right. The guy ahead of us is Porter. I've lost my head a little bit here, haven't I? How to throw away a race, ladies and gents. Is that what I should call this video? How to throw away a race. We just need to get a good couple of laps in here. But we're lo still losing time to the guy in front now. The gap to Porter in front is now 12 seconds.
So I'm having to absolutely machine gun down the gears to make the most of the engine braking. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. That last corner screws me up so much. Oh, we've got one guy that's wrecked. That's not good. not close enough for us to claim it as a position, though, I don't think. Feel really slow around there. Oof. Nearly ruined it there. Missed my breaking point. Okay, David, you've got ten minutes of fuel remaining. Yeah, I've just not I've not been in it since since that incident, have I? Like my performance since then. I can't really blame much of it on the car either, because I mean yeah, some of the braking feels a bit different. So I have to start braking a little bit earlier. In order to be able to take corners properly. But I, like, I can't blame it on that. It's just been me driving poorly. That incident like got right in my head. Let me know in the comments, ladies and gentlemen. How do you deal with that when you have an incident that makes you a bit angry, riles you up a little bit, starts affecting how you're driving? What do you do to make sure you can reset and calm down? I can't believe I spun myself out. Last lap, yeah, I don't think we're going to catch it. I think we're finishing P13. One position up from our door number. Another disappointing performance. One more lap to go. Another disappointing result. I was going to go wide there. I didn't turn into the apex anywhere near enough. It was there somewhere. I just didn't hit it. Same with that one. I was so wide. We can't make up 12 seconds in one lap. Not with the car the way it is and my brain the way it is right now. That was an early break there, and it was too early.
we're just going to have to finish this lap as well as good as we can. We're chewing into the guy in front at the moment, but we're too close to the end of the race here right now. He's probably already finished. Davenport is now in the lead. After such a good start as well. Well, sim racing has its ups and downs, ladies and gentlemen. This is definitely one of the downs. Definitely one of the downs. All right, David. We estimate you've got five minutes of fuel remaining. We think P4's gone off in turn one. P13. So disappointing. 15 minutes left. P13. So disappointing. That's it. We're done. That is ridiculously disappointing. So let's see the incident. The incident is going to be in this lap here, I'm sure. And let's go to Chopper Camp. And let's speed through it a little bit. So we're in P4 at this point. We do quite well defending against this guy. He goes for the move into the uh, into the hairpin up here. So let's right. Let's pause it here and start going slowly. See what happens. So he goes for the move on the inside, and he's going to get that. So I'm like, right, I'll go for the cutback. Let's go wide, and we've got this white car here. Oh my word! He was never making that corner. He was never making that corner. And that is Timothy Porter. Never making that corner at all. And his car was just happily carrying on there. He didn't wait to give the position. Well, he, he slowed down a lot. Maybe he was waiting to give the position back. And just because I stopped, because there was a lot of... Uh, a lot of cars coming. I was 17 wrecked out there as well. But just held his brakes like a good boy. Same as me. But once this guy goes, that should be when I go. Let's see. Yeah. This guy comes round. I was in his way a little bit. Yeah, cool. And then that's that's my race, basically. So disappointing. But them's the strokes sometimes, ladies and gents. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Sorry I'm uh, a bit dour towards the end of this video. Uh, don't forget to let me know in the comments down below how you deal with this kind of uh, frustration mid-race and how it uh, like has an impact on your driving. Um, and yeah, if you haven't already and you want to continue following along with this journey, all of its ups and downs, make sure you hit that subscribe button and do ring that bell to make sure that you get notified when new videos go live. Uh, and last but not least, if you liked seeing me suffer, if you liked seeing me self implode after the incident, uh, please do hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, hit that thumbs down button as well. It all helps me in the algorithm, helps me get the channel discovered. Uh, but for now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I have been Deej. You guys have been awesome. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.